going on everybody Z here welcome back to some more dyson spear program so last episode we actually started making the dyson sphere now as you can see i went around and i put all of the placement of these things and for some reason they'll randomly start building like there's like two built here there's a couple built over here there's one there uh so they're just like randomly building this thing and we're just gonna let them do it we're gonna let them do the things we're gonna let them do the stuff they're gonna continue building i have it all marked and as long as we can keep supplying it we should be good to go now what's actually pretty cool is that you can see right now my generating capacity is at 56.3.4 megawatts and my solar sails are only at 162. so eventually this is going to take over a higher number than that and then we're not even going to need a swarm anymore we can just go straight with the dyson sphere itself so that's going to be amazing uh still more to learn on this but there was an update now i record my videos usually typically like a day or so in advance so this uh this update came out after like before my last video and uh, I had a lot of comments on <laughs> saying hey you can upgrade your belts now well they just added the upgrade facilities so if you didn't know which is I guess just me now I'm alone in this uh basically you can select one thing to upgrade if you have an upgrade for it so like uh I guess you could upgrade that I don't know can't really upgrade these uh, we could upgrade our machines right here but you can also hold shift to do like an entire belt line which is amazing oh my gosh it's amazing so that is fantastic i'm super excited about that but we've got things to do because we need more stuff uh we're starting to run out of stuff and by starting to run out of stuff i mean my stone is starting to get low um i have a few pockets of iron that are starting to get low i have a few things that are getting low so we're going to need to start bringing stuff from other planets and I think one of those things that we're going to bring is actually the stuff to make these carbon nanotubes because there is an alternate blueprint for carbon nanotubes. This uh, spinoform stuff. So if I go out here into our system and I find the spinoform stuff, which I believe there was some here. Yeah, the spinoform stalagmite crystal that can be made directly into carbon nanotubes like sh just straight from that to carbon nanotube amazing yes i know it's fantastic so uh we might do that and i don't think there's another there's none here sulfuric acid it'd be kind of cool to bring that in as well but we're not really gonna have to we're not really gonna do that either um let's see is there anything else exciting going on i think it might be almost time as well to start doing the research the the green research uh, let's see here this guy so that requires a gravitational lens and a whatever processor microprocessor super micro a quantum chip um so we might need to start making that which means that we need to make sure that we're making a bunch of this stuff uh which i think the titanium glass is no issue and i believe the casimir crystal is not gonna be an issue either so we should be good the only thing that's gonna be an issue is the processor itself which i have already started upgrading and trying to make more of and trying to keep up with but it's a little it's a little hard it's a little hard so as you can see like i expanded this out quite a bit um but i think we're gonna need to expand this out to make more of these and we should also probably start making uh machine mark threes instead of mark twos everywhere so that's gonna be another thing we got all kinds of stuff to do anyways hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things let's get on into it so um let's go with should we start bringing in carbon nanotubes? Maybe we should just start bringing in carbon nanotubes. Maybe that is what we should be doing here. Hmm. All right, so you know what I think we're gonna do? I think we're gonna do a little bit of exploration stuff. Now, we could go and we could grab the stuff, you know, do the same thing over and over and over. Go grab something, bring it here, start making another resource, so on and so forth. Uh, but I found a star and it actually has unknown resources on it. So I'm actually like, I'm super curious about it. Uh, where are you? There is a star. This one right here, it says unknown and unknown. So I'm kind of curious to what those unknowns are. Because if it feels like a rare item, I would assume it would say. Well, that one says unknown as well. How far away is that? That one's seven. Six light years. Oh, you know why? It's because it's at six light years and it's just not saying. So if it's four light years, it'll tell me exactly what it is. Okay, all right. Well, that's never mind then. 
So um, I'm just kind of looking through the stars that we have at our disposal. I wouldn't mind expanding our research to be able to uh, like, you know, see all of them. But we need we need to get that green research going in order to make that happen. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I want to go here. I don't know what kimberlite ore is and I don't know what fractal silicon is. So let's go take a peek at this planet. What is this? A uh, percad? Perkid. Perkad. Okay. Let's go take a peek there and let's just kind of see what's going on. I want to do something fun, new, and exciting. Uh, let's see. What am I going to need to get there? Do I have warpers in my suit? I have five. We'll be good there. I have plenty of fuel. And I think we'll be good. Let's just go take a peek. We'll see what's there. We'll see what's up. Because I don't know what the Kimberlite ore is for. And I don't know if there's like a... Oh, is that what Kimberlite ore is for? Is that Kimberlite ore? Unipolar magnet. What the heck? Interesting. Not seen that before. What is Kimberlite ore though? Oh, Kimberlite ore can be used to turn to diamond. That's kind of cool. You know what, though? Honestly, I really need the carbon nanotube more than anything. <laughs> you know what? Let's go set up a station. Let's go set up a station. Let's bring uh, let's bring some spinoform uh, ore back and we'll get that going. Um, <laughs> What do we need for that? We're going to need a station. We're going to need all of the things. OK, let's get all the things going here. All right, let's go for it. Let's head out. Um, so I'm actually going to try something. We're going to try something while we're here. Ooh, which one do I need to go to? It's not LO. It's the Epsilon Sag Sagittary, I think. We're going to go there. Where in the heck is it at? That guy right there. That's where we need to go. And I believe that has the, uh, the Spinoform for us. I got to tell you, Warp is cool. Warp is cool. Oh, I love it. Okay, so which of these planets has what we're looking for? I'm looking for the Spinoform stuff. Uh, Spinoform stalagmite, 1.9 million? Heck yeah. This doesn't have anything. Okay. Wait, hold on. What's this one? Fire ice? Okay, so let's go to this one. Uh, Epsilon Sagittary 1. And we're almost here. Oh, is this that green lush planet? It looks like it is. I think it is. Okay, cool. So where is the spinoform stuff on this planet? Spinoform stalagmite crystal right there. And it's all one vein as well. All right, so let's head over there and let's check this stuff out. 1.9 million. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Okay, so we're going to set up a little shop here. We're going to do this. And I think what we're going to start doing is we're gonna start bringing in stuff from other plants and we're gonna start disassembling the machines that we already have making this stuff at home uh because it's just using resources that we're no longer gonna need because we're gonna have these things we're gonna have better stuff you know oh luckily i do ha i do have enough for uh for some foundations that's nice okay so we'll put those there and basically i just want to put as many on this thing as i can to get as much as i can all right so we have those now i brought a ray receiver but I don't, I don't think it's going to pull energy from, I don't think it's going to work here. I don't think it's going to pull energy from our Dyson Sphere back home. Uh, we're going to try Dyson Sphere program. So if I put this up here, I don't think it's going to do anything, to be honest. Strength is 0%. I don't think, because my guess is it's going to have to be facing our star system if it's going to work at all and where is calf from here all right so calf is right there i don't think it's gonna pull from that i don't think it's gonna pull from that far away i mean it's gonna it's gonna start facing it here shortly but i still just i don't think it's gonna work where'd you go calf right there okay calf is right there I want to see if this is actually going to start pulling anything. I don't think it's going to. I don't foresee this actually working. It would be cool. But I, I really just don't think it's going to work. Oh my gosh, you can see one of my inner logistics ships. <gasps> you can see a couple of them. That's super cool. <laughs> super neat. No, I don't think it's going to work. I mean, we're almost... 
Because, like, I mean, that is, like, a long ways away. And I don't think there's any way that we're going to transfer power from that far away. <laughs> I had to try, though. I had to try. No, no, no power. No power. It's, like, right above us. Okay. All right. So that is not going to work. I, you know, I didn't really think it would. I was just kind of curious. So we have that. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just set up the transport stuff. We're going to set that up. Uh, no. Introduce this one. We're just going to set that up right here. And then we need to get power, which I didn't bring anything for power. <laughs> I didn't bring anything for power. Wait, is there crude oil? Oh, there's crude oil. Oh, we'll set up some generators. Heck yeah, we'll be good that way. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get this all belted up, shall we? Oh my gosh, these are crude oil 4.7 per second. These are insane. That's kind of crazy. Okay, so let's get an oil extractor on there, on there. And then, da, 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 I should have some uh, thermal power stations. Heck yes. And we're just going to throw up some thermal power stations and uh, utilize that crude oil. Four of them. That's all I have. So, I mean, it is what it is. All right. There we go. We are good to go. Uh, all we really need to do is get the initial little bump in power on one of these. And actually, can I throw, let's see what do we got in here. I got some of this. We'll throw some of that in there. That'll start that process up, and then wham, bam. All of those are not working because, because I didn't uh, I didn't power them. Um, we'll go ahead and use one of those. Why not? Okay, should start powering all of those now. Heck yeah. Okay, what's our power like? So we have eight point six megawatts of power on those. I might be able to build more. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but we need to bring power over here and then we'll throw up another one of these oh man it'd be nice if i could have got them all in one you know what let's see can i make towers myself oh, i'm out of iron <laughs> darn it uh is there iron here there's got to be iron here hey there's some iron okay let's just grab some iron by hand we're gonna we're going back to the old-fashioned mining ways all right we are good we've got iron let's go ahead and let's set up some towers here so let's get uh tower there tower there connect these bad boys up mm, it's gonna be right out of range of the other tower we need that one and then i made a few more thermal power stations so let's go ahead and let's get uh let's see what's the range on this oh of course it's not very far that's fine all right, there we go. Looking good. Now, how's our power situation looking here? Oh, God. Oh, it's super low because of the tower. The tower's doing its initial charge up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop that power down. And how's our overall power now? 57%. It's pretty good. It's just that this thing has to charge up. So that would be good. And then we need to put the Spinoform stuff on here. Where are you? this uh remote supply heck yeah all right look at that bad boy fill up heck yes that right there is carbon nanotubes directly turning into carbon nanotubes that is so nice and then we have what four of those things going so we have a decent amount coming in yeah not bad not bad that'll work that'll work for our carbon nanotubes okay cool so we've got power we've got all that uh power looks okay for now and it looks like we have way we have a plenty of we have like plenty of oil and what's nice about the oil is it's infinite so like we can just these these can just run forever we don't ever have to worry about coming back to make sure that there's still power now is there anything else here that we want to export the silicon maybe i think everything else is pretty good i think we're good on everything else i think this is pretty much what i came here for i don't know if i can get another miner in here or not can we get another miner in here? Uh, it sure does look like we can. 457,000? Heck yeah. <laughs> Might as well. All right, there we go. And we've got 1.9 million of that, so we will be set for a while. We'll be set for a while. This guy can just go ahead and fill right on up. All right, everything's looking good. Uh, this is pretty much fully charged. I threw down some accumulators because what's going to happen is this is going to fully charge up. 
our ships are going to come in here. They're going to drain the power charge, but we'll have uh, we'll have some accumulators to kind of help with that buffer, that increased draw every now and then. So that is set up. That's good to go. Let's go ahead and let's make some carbon nanotubes. Heck yes. All right. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and we can set up this. What is fractal silicon for? We never actually never really. I don't know what that actually is for. Uh, spinal form stalagmite and remote demand and voila we have stalag we have spinal form stalagmite on the way so that is going to get turned into carbon nanotubes and how what is the what is the process for that um uh, let's see here it's made in a chemical facility just directly made in that okay cool so what we're going to do is we're actually going to deconstruct our carbon nanotube area over here because i just don't need it anymore um and then i also want to get a sulfuric acid thing being brought in as well because those things are all just super slow you know so i don't need any of these being here which means we also don't need uh we don't need this let's go ahead and set this to supply so i can get that out of here we don't need it over here anymore and we actually need to bring, we need to bring carbon nanotubes over here because we need carbon nanotubes in this for these guys. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Instead of supply, we'll put it on demand like that. And then we will, uh, we'll just do this. We'll do a quick swap a Rooney like that. Grab this from here carbon nanotube into there and voila that's fixed that's good looking good let's go ahead and delete oh my gosh you can delete a whole chain now don't need that don't need that we also don't need this titanium over here so we can get rid of those uh that's gonna get us our machine frames in even quicker let's go set up our new our new and improved carbon nanotubes. Oh, I love it. I love the uh, I love the advanced stuff. The advanced stuff makes a lot of fun. Hello, new carbon nanotube. You're going to go there. And all we have to do is make these. Boop, boop, boop. Like a so. And we only have one item in. And then we'll have one item out. Carbon nanotubes, obviously. Uh, So let's go ahead and let's set the output of this. Can we go this way? Heck yeah, we can into here oh actually no i don't i don't want to use the intergalactic one for this because this is this one is specifically to bring in resources uh nearby so let's actually do it this way let's throw uh let's get another tower in here actually i'm just gonna go ahead and delete this whole line and do i have another transportation tower i do perfect we'll just throw that over here yeah we'll do it that way All right, and then this is going to be carbon nanotubes and supply. Fantastic. And it can be a max amount. I don't care. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then we need to pull crystal spinal form this way. And we'll go ahead and pull that right up into there. Oh, this is going to solve all of our carbon nanotube problems. It's going to be so nice. All right, there they go. There they go. Yes. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay. Uh, so we definitely could throw some more of these in here. That'll be fine. That would be easy enough. Now, uh, let's see. Let's go make sure I got rid of my other graphene farm too, because I have, yeah, see this graphene right here. I don't need this graphene here anymore because we have graphene being made over here faster than anything else. And this will give me some of those chemical factories so we can get more uh, carbon nanotubes in here. Don't need any of that. And I honestly don't need this whole line right here. doesn't need to be here anymore either. Doesn't need to be there. And then honestly, this line of sulfuric acid doesn't need to be here either. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, I love getting rid of stuff and cleaning stuff up. <gasps> it's so nice. Don't need that anymore. Uh, let's see. You saw, how do you still have graphene in that? That's crazy. 
Now, believe it or not, it looks actually it actually looks like we're running out of hydrogen, <laughs> which is crazy. It's actually legit crazy that we're we're semi running low on hydrogen. So we need to get some more of these in here to make more hydrogen, apparently. Good gosh. All right, carbon nanotubes. Max an amount. Well, I'm trying to max them out. We might actually need to make this line a little bit bigger. Because we do have a lot of stuff requiring carbon nanotubes, I believe. So it's required for machine frames and particle broadband. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, we probably should get another line in here. All right, so there's our carbon nanotubes. They are working their little butts off. Uh, how are we like holding steady on that stuff? <laughs> yeah, we are. We are definitely holding steady on it. Okay, so we'll let that run. We'll let it do its thing. And hopefully that will get caught up. Now there's gonna be a super huge demand because we haven't had any for a while. But I think it'll level itself out pretty good because we've never had this much carbon nanotube or this many carbon nanotubes being made before. So that'll level that out. That should get us the machine frames that we need, hopefully. And our fiber cable, hopefully. Hopefully it'll give us enough. Okay, so we are actually lacking now plastic oh we're lacking plastic yeah let's go see what we can do for plastic here all right so here's our plastic uh we are lacking in the energetic graphite department oh you know what this guy's empty so let's see oh my gosh this one's empty as well Ooh, you know we might need to pull this from the oil Let's go over here and let's take a peek at our oil processing stuff, what we got going on, because we should be making a bunch of energetic graphite over here. Okay, we are. Yeah, we're, we're making we're making as much as we can. So actually looks like we're filling up, too, which is good. Let's go ahead and let's throw another row of these in here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this line right here that I just made to supply the energetic carbon to this tower and bring it over to uh, to where we need to take it. That way we can supply this and, you know, just kind of get it going a little bit better with the plastic. And then the hydrogen, we're just going to throw right into this hydrogen main line right here anyways. So that won't, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, we're going to have to do some some spaghetti here, though, if I want to do this. Yeah, we're going to we're going to spaghettify it a little bit. All right, so there's the hydrogen. Now, the carbon should be easy as getting this expanding out to here going this way and going to here bringing it down then into here so that should give us the carbon uh it's apparently taking it somewhere already holy moly where are you going with that uh okay something really 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 needed it um maybe we are gonna have to uh <laughs> shoot <laughs> Maybe we're going to have to get some more in here. Where did it? Where did that just? Where did you go? They just went over here. What are you doing over here? What are you supplying uh, energized graphite for? Oh, it's for the magnets and stuff. Ew. Well, it's maxed out now. Okay. All right. So that was just the initial demand. Okay, so our plastic over here needs carbon. Now, we are bringing carbon in here as well, but I don't think we're going to do that anymore. I think we're going to... Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to delete that line. We'll let these finish up with this. And then we are actually going to... Demand carbon. It's kind of funny. We, we were supplying it from here, but now we're demanding it too here. Kind of neat. Um, okay, so let's bring these all the way down into here. And then that should hopefully give us plastic a little bit quicker. Yeah, look at it go. Oh, they're so happy. Now it's going to back up amazingly. We could probably get some more machines in here too. Do I have any more? I have one more. I guess we'll throw it on there. Why not? All right, so hopefully that'll help the plastic. And hopefully we'll actually get some plastic. Uh, also, I don't need these either. I don't need these anymore because we're bringing this from off planet. So let's get rid of those. Don't need any of that. Uh, this copper line. Don't need you. Don't need you. What is this? 
Don't need that anymore. We don't need this one anymore. Oh my gosh, being able to delete lines like this is so nice. Because we're bringing in from here. So like we have zero use to be making that at all. And then that's gonna help our plastic too because now it can actually go to where it needs to go and not get separated. <gasps> yeah, wait, how come this crude oil is not hooked up to anything? Interesting, why are you not hooked up to anything? We put it down, but we didn't hook it up. Hmm, I don't know. Uh oh, I think I, I might have broke a line over here. Uh oh, yeah, sulfuric acid. Where's the sulfuric acid going? Did we delete the line going into the tower? Oh gosh, I got delete happy. Did I get delete happy? I might have got delete happy. Okay, where are you going? No, you're going into there. We're just not making very much sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid, I think, is also another thing that we're gonna start transporting from uh, from another star system. Oh, it's because we're out of water. Well, here, let's go grab our water deal over here and bring it over there. Okay, so there, we, we increased our water a little bit, but yeah, this is sulfuric acid and there's oceans of sulfuric acid. So all we literally have to do is pump it out of the ocean and transport it back here. And then now we get rid of this line. So that would also stop the consumption of stone and some refined oil, but ooh, refined oil. We make a lot of refined oil though. But still, if we could just pump it out of an ocean and have an infinite supply of it, it would probably be better than having all of this. <laughs> all right, so after letting things run for a little bit, it looks like we are about good. Like everything's actually making like it's supposed to. We've got energetic carbon in here. We've got silicon going. We've got, uh, what do we have here? We got plastic in here. We have a lot of plastic, so that's looking good. We are looking good on all the fronts. We have uh, purple research going pretty good. Um, I'm not super worried about speeding up this because I feel like I feel like we're about right. Um, now I do also have like a line of these machines over here going to supply uh, these elsewhere. Which wow, we already have a five. We have like 2,600 in there. That's amazing. <laughs> That's actually kind of amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down to 2,000. Why not? And then the machine frames. Looks like machine frames could use a little bit of an upgrade as well. Because that is uh that's a constant demand right there. Minus 70 already. Yeah, those could probably use a little bit of an upgrade. We could throw a couple of things on this side and bring them over here. Mm, yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and go for that. Now, I don't know about this titanium, because it looks like, oh nope, we're making titanium again because titanium needs the sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid for some reason is coming in bunches. Oh, it's becoming, it's coming in bunches because of uh, the drones. That's why, that's why. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's get another, uh, let's get another set of these going too. All right, so there goes those. Yeah, uh, we might need to up our titanium game a little bit, titanium alloy game a little bit. <laughs> uh, carbon nanotubes, let's go ahead and throw a belt upgrade on this. On all of those just so we can get things moving a little bit quicker. That looks good. Perfect. Okay, so titanium alloy is our issue. We're kind of just going around fixing a few things right now. Uh, and ooh, there's that. Okay, so is titanium alloy actually the issue or is it the sulfuric acid? Wow, they just ate up all that sulfuric, sulfuric acid. Like, no, no joke. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more machines too. Why not? Let's set up a couple more, uh, a couple more smelt. Well, three more apparently, because that's all I have. All right, perfect. So we got some more of those going, uh, and then those do have a storage deal right here, and those are also are those going into here. They are going into there. Interesting. They're never gonna make it in that tower if I have this. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. We'll just have the splitter in here. All right, so sulfuric acid is still the issue, but we could always go to another planet and grab that, which I'm thinking, honestly, we probably should. If It would be nice if I already had a planet to set up with power so that we could set it up on a planet that's like already semi done, because I hate to go and just put up a whole bunch of water sucker deals to make uh, to make sulfuric acid, but at the same time, I mean, we kind of need it. And stone apparently is getting low. <laughs> oh, geez, yeah, it is 293 total. This one only has 39,000 left. This one has 41,000 left. Oh my gosh. This is just a struggle, isn't it? Let's take a peek at our uh, carbon nanotubes. Oh yes, carbon nanotubes are looking good. Do we have a storage of them yet? A little bit. We're actually starting to store a little bit of them. Heck yes, awesome. 
All right, cool. That is a good feeling. That's really nice. This is actually working like it's supposed to. That crystal spiniform is in here doing its job. So uh, yeah, you could say very easy. You could say easy carbon nanotubes right there. Find this stuff and literally just turn it into a carbon nanotube. I like that. I like that. That's fancy. And of course, since we've been playing this whole time, let's go ahead. Let's check in our Dyson Sphere because this guy, these are actually backed up. So we should see. Ooh, it's coming together. Look, at we got these, that segment. We got that one, that one, that one. Now, I don't know what causes them to build in wherever they're building. So I'm hoping eventually like this will just all fill in. And we are at 93.1 megawatts. We're eventually going to get to the point where there's not going to be a point to have... Um, solar sails anymore because once once this power starts to surpassing this there's no reason because we're using solar sails to uh to to make this stuff anyway so we might as well just increase production of everything so we can get the dyson sphere actually going oh this is so exciting look at those pieces now are those pieces just frame pieces it kind of looks like they are huh I'm trying to look at them up close i wish i could see the other side of them Yeah, they kind of look like just frame pieces. And let me guess, it's 70, 0, 70. Okay. So I think what this is, is I think it's saying how many parts you have, how many shuttles are on the way, or like how many parts you have, how many are on the way, and how many you need, possibly. So let's see, this one right here. So 12, 0, 70. So that means there's 12 parts in there. No shuttles are currently on the way to this node but it needs 70 in order to finish and get the frame out. Okay, and it looks like they're working on this one, so 49,070. So that is what my guess is. Now, once it comes, like, I don't know what we need to do and actually in order to actually like start working up here and stuff. I think that's where I need to get the research for, where are you? The technology, I think that's where this is gonna come into hand. Uh, Dyson Sphere node latitude limit plus 15 degrees. So I think what this unlocks is, I could be completely wrong, but my guess is that the distance between here and here, the, the, the degree change is probably 15 degrees. So once you unlock that, you can probably start expanding around, but you have to, you have to do like one row at a time. You know what I mean? Um, I'm thinking that's what it is. I don't know. I could be wrong. That's kind of my guess. Um, I'm super excited. I can't wait. And uh, yeah, we just have we have more of everything to do. We've got to keep getting more resources from other planets. We got to we really need to go get the sulfuric acid as well. So we can get that sped back up and uh, our production upped on that because that right there, I believe. Do we need the machine frames for this? No, I think those machine frames are holding us back from a bunch of things. So we need to get those going. That'll be the next episode. But that is going to end this one. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. This is Dyson Sphere Program. If you want to check it out, I'll have a link down below. As always, and I'll see you in the next one.